You know, I, I think every player goes through some adversity. I've kind of got to a point where I, I try to look at my adversity as a, a lesson and to kind of be able to learn from that instead of being so hung up on, you know, results and having success at every outing. And I think that that's gotten me to a point where I can be more pitch to pitch in my career. And now Michael Kopech is on a major league mound in the regular season for the first time since September 5th, 2018. If he can harness his control, he's going to be a huge weapon out of the bullpen. You don't get a chance to kind of feel your way into it in the bullpen. You're coming in and, you know, usually in the heat of a moment in the game. Um, and it's a crucial time that we, we need outs. And kind of taking that to uh, a starting role um, from the first pitch of the game in the first inning, being able to go out there and you know try to hold the game at a zero as long as possible. I think that the, the bullpen role really helped me be able to kind of like conquer that mentality. I'm pretty comfortable being in a routine and having five days to kind of set a routine and be able to to work with, you know, each and every day, uh, having a specific set of goals that I need to accomplish, I think that that's, that's a lot more my speed. It may not be a strategic routine every time, um, but it's doing things that kind of calm my nerves. For the most part, it's all about getting to a point where I feel level-headed. And on most, most start days, that's, you know, spending a little bit of time with the kids in the morning, grabbing a coffee, you know, doing a little bit of reading, getting myself to a point where I can have a little bit of quiet time if, if the day allows for it, and then um, get to the field and kind of let the natural flow and adrenaline of the day kind of pick up. You know, I've always liked the outdoors. I've always liked to camp and do those things, and time used to allow for it a lot more. Now that I have children, there's a lot more focus on creating a good home dynamic. You know, I have an important role as a father and hopefully a role model to them. I can pitch a great game or a horrible game and they don't know the difference. Um, and coming through the doors and seeing your kid's face light up and, and run up and hug your leg, that kind of can make a bad day great and a good day better. It makes me a little bit more motivated to have success for them. So it makes it a, a lot less pressure and a lot more fun. My path to being a big leaguer in the first place has so much to do with faith that at the time I probably didn't even realize as much. I had this, I guess, assuredness that I was always going to be here. And that had almost nothing to do with my abilities and everything to do with God placing me in the right place and putting the right people around me. As far as a career goes, I mean, to have so many ups and downs and to, to trust that these bottoms aren't the bottom and that it's just a, a valley and there will be another mountain peak and um, to kind of work through those things and to, to have that ability to trust that everything is going to be fine. It's absolutely a, a faith thing. It's a test of your faith every day to not lay down and give up. And I think that being able to, to fight and that have that resiliency is something that I feel empowered with from, from my faith in God. I am a, a high-strung competitor, and when I don't live up to my expectations or my potential, then I get angry with myself, and that oftentimes turns into a spiral of reacting to not doing well and then not getting yourself out of that rut. You can dig yourself deeper and deeper. And as a kid, um, I didn't run into too much adversity, but when I did, it became a, a deeper spiral like that. And so if I could have learned that at a younger age, I think I would be better for it now. Still trying to win that battle every day. I've got a vision for what I would like my, my family to look like and my life to look like and you know, hang in this game for as long as I could and have the amount of success that I've wished to have. Um, I want that to be able to set myself up to 
have farmland, to be around animals, to, to teach my kids to live off the land, I guess, but you know, to, to still be able to have the luxury of living a pretty comfortable life. I like being as far away from the noise as possible, and um, I think that over the course of my life, that's brought me more and more peace. And for my kids, I want them to be able to have that same sense of peace. If I could, if I could set that up for, for them and to have a great life with Morgan and just kind of be able to wake up and hear the birds chirp and see the dew on the grass, I'd, I'd, I'd be pretty happy with a simple life.